guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Review. So today I have had three deliveries. One I knew about, two I didn't, and I do have another delivery coming. So guys, I know I said I wasn't going to buy any more items from Boohoo, but I lied. So I've been like trying to get some ideas for video content and I, I can see a lot of people do this certain particular video. And I just thought it might be a good video for me. So coming up in 2020, I won't say when, I'm going to do um, buying a goth alternative outfit on a budget. And I'm going to set myself a budget and I'm going to go off with my camera and do some shopping. But I did find some things on Boohoo. So <clears throat> it's going to be um, can you dress alternative from certain shops like Boohoo and the outfit that I'll have will be part of that outfit and what I will do I will dress up the whole outfit so you can see and then you can have your say if you think that would pass as being um, not so much goth because even though I like gothic and I listen to gothic music and I like gothic clothes I don't classify myself as gothic i just classify myself as being a metal chick a metalhead big hair metalhead whatever you want to call it but i i don't class myself as being goth but at the same time i like the goth theme i love everything about goth so um i want you to tell me if you think that the co the outfit that i picked would pass as being alternative goth or anything in that kind of category so that's coming up but today i have had a delivery now as i have said in the video that I did send back the two Kate's clothing. Now I did wrap it up to be returned and then something happened and I ended up taking them out and keeping them. So I didn't return them, but I did buy these in exchange for them. So I was gonna send them back, get my money back and then put it towards this item. Now the buy one, get one free deal, it ends this weekend. I would have liked to have got two more items on there, but to completely honest with you guys i'm on a deadline for my um modeling contest i have to pay my fees so with that said i can't really be delging anymore into clothing and i have got lots of clothing i am going to be doing what's in my wardrobes I, i'm not looking forward to that guys because i'm not extremely organized but my wardrobes are really disorganized so and i don't want to organize it for the sake of a video i want you to see that this is me this is how i have my wardrobes before i kick in um i've tried one of these charlotte tilbury lipsticks today omg so i got the red carpet as you probably know i would have used that and then i used the w7 um lip liner which i got in my advent calendar it's very very good and then i've used this little lip liner well it's actually an eyeliner but i use it as a lip liner because i've got so many eye pencils so sorry guys my ears have gone off and again so yeah so far so good with that so i know for a fact that this is um kate's clothing and it's the last of my buy one get one free deal it will be ending this weekend guys but i have given you so much notice to go and grab something if you wanted to i know a lot of things have sold out in certain sizes unfortunately there's lots of things that I actually wanted but didn't have my size and I was absolutely gutted. And there was things that I bought that I would never have bought normally in my size. Now, these two items here, I bypassed these completely. And I mean completely. So when I got these, one of them is to go with a certain wig and to dress up with. And the other one is just, I never noticed it before. Guys, two minutes. Do you ever get that like, like you've got water in your ears kind of thing? Not tinnitus when you've got that that high pitch. It's like, oh. anyway, let's get on with it, guys. My address is at the front and I can't be bothered blocking it out. So let's just open it this way. I don't think I'll be returning anything, to be honest with you. Ooh, I can see green. As you know, guys, at the minute I am having a thing for like dark blue and dark green i don't know what's going on red and purple are usually my colors and obviously black black's always been my thing okay wow two items guys two items i have never ever in my 42 years of living ever bought from punk crave so this is the first for me 
So I've got one punk rave item and I've got one necessary evil. So let's start with the necessary evil. Now, I don't know why I didn't pick this up before. I think I just thought it was something else. I don't know. I don't know. But do you know what? I, my wardrobe is full anyway, but I've, I have added a lot of new items. So a lot of the things that I'll show you in my wardrobe, you've probably already seen. Sorry, guys. But it's in my wardrobe. So I can't kind of dismiss the fact that it's there. So this I got in an XL. So chuffed to have my size in it. I so hope it fits. I will try it on with my t-shirt on under it. I have actually got my Jack Skeleton t-shirt on and I've got my Killstar cardigan on because I need warmth. I really do need warmth. Um, I find it's very, very cold at the minute, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot colder today than it was last night. Woo! Okay, so, guys, this is the Necessary Evil Lucina Mesh and Leatherette Jacket. I did want the skirt. I <laughs> really wanted the skirt, but they only had like size 12 and I just know for a fact I ain't going to get into a size 12. Even if I bought it and kept it till I got to a size 12, this would be then too big for me. So I left the skirt. If I ever see that skirt again and I can get it for a size 16, I'll probably grab it. <gasps> OMG. So this is the top, guys. Look at that. How beautiful is that? So it's like this sheer organza kind of mesh not mesh it's what would you call this oh is it is it, oh yeah so it's it, it looks like a high necked one oh yes so it's high necked it's got like leatherette trim like four leatherette trim and then it's got this ruffle design at the shoulder which i think is absolutely amazing it's got like a zip all the way through the middle this is where i got confused guys so it's a long sleeve and there's no leatherette on the cuff it's just your normal sheer now, you could wear this with anything, guys, and I mean anything. You could wear a really nice black basque with this. You could just have a nice bodice. You could have a black top, red top, pink top, blue top, orange top, any top. It would go with this. Now, the bottom is, again, it's ruffled, but only to the side. So it has, like, illusion. You could wear this with a really, really nice black pencil skirt or you could wear it with a fishtail skirt, which I think would look absolutely amazing. Or you could just wear it with leather pants. Now, I am happy because I do own leather trousers. Um, I have some from River Island. I walk part with them. They are size 14 and I can fit back in them. I do have like wet look leggings. Um, I have a PVC skirt. So I've got cl plenty of things to actually go with it. But as a whole, guys, this is what it looks like. And again, it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So this leather trim goes all the way down to where the ruffles are. And then the same on the other side. <gasps> I will try this on, guys. I will model it. I'm not a fan of modeling clothes off when it's so cold. So here it has your necessary evil tag. Um, it's an XL. It does give you instructions on here. So it is 95% polyester and 5% elastane, which I would have thought of because it is quite stretchy, which gives you that elastane kind of um, stretch. It says keep away from fire, hand wash in cold water. Interesting. Now, that is interesting. I don't like hand washing. As you know, I, I can't stand at the sink for too long because my back, I have a dishwasher. And my husband does the the washing and stuff like that. But um, we'll see. I probably won't wear this constantly all the time. I probably put this to what I would call my best wear. Because for like normal day-to-day -day wear, I'd probably wear just like my Killstar jackets or cardigans and what have you, or my EMP, whichever. But this I would class as more of a going out, let's keep yourself warm. The zip... Let's have a look. It's just this plain silver zip and it zips all the way down. And then opened up. You can see how sheer it is and how transparent because you can see me, I can see you. That is fantastic. I don't know why I never have all my prices to hand, but I think if I can remember lightly, this was around the $24.99 mark. As you know, it's buy one, get one free. So I bought this 
and I got another item free. So I'm not too sure how they've worked it. Let me just see how they've worked it. Oh, it doesn't say. Yeah, it doesn't actually say which one was free, but they were both the same price. So either this was free or the Punk Rave one was free. So that is that item, guys. I will try that on. I've just had my plain thermal leggings on today, guys. I don't really dress up too much in the day. For me, comfort is key. So in the daytime, I tend to wear a lot of leggings. I live in leggings, guys, because I've got a back disability. I don't like to wear things that are too restricted on the back, on the waist, or on the stomach, or anything like that. And I do have tummy issues, so I don't like that. So leggings is just perfect for me. Everybody's different, do you know what I mean? So it comes in this really nice punk wave packaging. And I've never had punk wave, so I'm happy about this. Now I'll have to get a 14 in this, guys, because they didn't do a 16. And I usually am 14, 12 and 14 at the top. That's why when I get extra large at the top, it's usually too big. But that will be over certain things, so that's not too bad. But this, I reckon, will fit the treat. And it's green. Yes, it's green. Never in my life would I think that I'd own a lot of green things. I do have green clothing, guys, in my wardrobe. You will see when we do the tour, and you've probably got bit different for you but I have so many different dress senses as long as it's around the same dark kind of colour or certain theme I mean I do have really nice dresses for special occasions um oh what is this what is this there's some kind of thing with it this is very very posh so it says it's a large <gasps> so it's wrapped up with this tissue paper inside it this feels amazing so guys, <gasps> Wimchi, I'm so fucking gab that I grabbed this. Look at this. So guys, I used to be into a lot of vintage clothing. I did used to dress vintage. I used to like my very long vintage skirts, my blouses kind of thing, big cuffs. Um, you, we all go through these stages of, of going through something and then changing i've always been into the alternative kind of dress sense but then um i don't know i just got rid of most of my tops for the obvious reasons i went too big or i went too small i ain't pattern with this that's for sure so guys this is the blouse i could actually wear this for the competition with a really nice um leather pair of trousers my green wig i've got some ideas i want to be like casually comfortable for my photo shoot i don't want to be having everything hanging out because i'm too old for that but at the same time i'd like to reveal some of me oh my god guys this is so let's talk about the top i'm getting too excited so it's it's very stretchy which is a bonus for me it's like stripped with velvet and like the sheer meshy this kind of material like the elastane but it's like ribbed so it's ribbed all the way down. Oh, look at the cuffs. And you've got this massive kind of ruffled effect cuff. It's got lace underneath it. It is attached to the top. So you've got no, you know, if you pull or grab it and it rips, it would probably rip with the top. But, oh my God, that is so nice. So it's elasticated at the wrist as well, which I think is very, very nice. So it'll sit at the wrist and hang down over the hand. I mean, I do like my cardigans to have the thumb insert or the finger insert in, but not all jumpers do that. So, oh, this is what that is then. So they've given me a spare button in this beautiful little bag that's got a skull in the front and it just says punk rave, colour green. Oh, I like the labels. That's quite, it's quite nice. It's, yeah. So it's got a collar, guys, obviously. It's got a collar and it looks like the shoulders are quite like high up, like a puffy effect when it's on. And then obviously you've got a button detail to the front. And then at the front, it's kind of like tailored down to a point. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love this, guys. And then again at this side, I think they had a different colour in this as well. I'm going to go on and have a look, see if they did have the red. I think they might have had the red, but not my size. At the back is this Basque detail with what feels like velvet little pieces of um, lace but in velvet 
So you can actually tighten that and loosen it, whatever you feel you need to do. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And the back is quite straight, guys. So it's tapered down at the front, but not at the back. <gasps> and it feels absolutely amazing. Now, this probably won't go with what I'm wearing as far as leggings are concerned. But maybe, guys, just for you, I will go and grab a pair of my leather trousers and we'll try it with this maybe the same so these two outfits i will try on guys but i will dress it up with some of my normal everyday clothing that i've got maybe leather trousers with this maybe leather trousers with that we'll see so that is that guys so that is my buy one get one free from kate's clothing if i had all the money in the world i probably would have bought one of every one of them items to be honest with you guys or i would have, I would have bought two <laughs> so yeah if you um ever want to make a bit of money and you see a buy one get one free offer sometimes it works off good because you could buy one and the one you get free you could sell on make your money back on the one you've bought free clothing so it's like self pr makes sense all right, guys, my husband's looking at me through the window. Very distracting. I should have my curtains closed, but never mind. All right, let's go and try these on. I'll be back in a jiffy, guys. See you in a minute. Okay, guys. Top number one. I love it. But I'm big chested. So with big chested comes this, what I call gap buttons. And it's where the material parts... And I've had to put a vest top underneath it because I'm not joking. You could see my boobers. And I don't want to show my boobers. This is why I bought this top because it's a top that covers the whole chest. And I like it. So I've got it open at the minute, but I'll show you what it looks like closed. But I've just put on a Joe Brown skirt to go with it. I did put on my leather pants, but because it's tapered here, it just looked very weird having the button of the jeans just sticking out here. It didn't appeal to me, but this would look nice with wet look kind of leggings or PVC leggings or velvet leggings. I've got velvet trousers that this will look absolutely amazing with and I've got velvet leggings as you know. And I've just bought a long velvet skirt. Oh no, I've bought some velvet clots so this would look nice with that as well. But if you were to fasten it up so it gets that vintagey feel and you don't want to have any of your chest out this is what it looks like guys as a whole now i thought the joe brown skirt went with it because one it had the lace detail but my skirt also has a bass detail to the back same as the top which i thought was very very nice i've had this skirt for about four years guys i don't wear it that much but i absolutely love it i do have a few joe brown's items again you'll see that when you go through my wardrobe but I just thought it's really, really nice. Now, comfort. Apart from it being a little bit too tight at my chest, I would have appreciated this being a size 18 more than anything. So I have room. It's very fitted. So as you can see, because I've got the hem of my skirt, the hem of my tights, everything has added more bulk here and that bulk shouldn't be there but i have got tights on um i do wear tights quite a lot eventually i may not i don't mind having my legs out but the pure white because they don't see the sun so but i love the cuffs it is quite long it hangs i do like the whole thing i like it at the back I like the detail at the back, I like the detail at the back of the skirt as well with it. I think it goes really nice with this skirt. I've actually got my demonios on my feet. You could wear anything, you could wear some classic vintage boots. I've got lots of vintage boots that would go with this so I could complete the whole look with that. But this was my green wig, I think would look very, very pretty, very, very nice. And then you can just open it up if you don't want it closed. I will keep my tags on until I do actually wear it and then I'll put my spare button away. But if you were to just open it up, this is what it looks like opened up. You could wear a plain little black cami top underneath it if you didn't want to show any of this bit here. So, or you could have it open and have it dangling like it's like a cardigan. But there you go guys, that's top number one. Let's go and try on the jacket. I'll try different trousers with that one I think, rather than the skirt. 
If you want more information on this skirt, comment below and I will see if I can find the information for it. But I have had it a while, guys. There we go. All right, guys. Okay, guys. Oh, my God. I love this. I love this. So, guys, I have got on my brand new Boohoo wet look leggings that I've never even worn. There you go. Just to prove you. Ticket is still on them. And my ticket is actually still on the top I've got underneath, which is my Strange Ways top. And I've still got the ticket on at the back for that as well. And I've got my ticket, obviously. Oh, my hair's getting stuck in the zip. Ow! For my necessary evil. So, guys. Yes. Now, this is what I say. Just that one size up makes a massive difference. If that top would have been a size 16 it wouldn't have been so tight around the boobs obviously i'm in the midst of losing weight so it will fit nicer once i've lost some weight this is absolutely amazing now hide my pouch because i've not started work on that area i have just got my leggings on but look how it hangs guys if you was to wear the skirt that matches to this it would just be a whole lot of floor here so it'd be like a rah-rah kind of effect and then that whole swoopy kind of, oh, I wish I got the skirt in this. No, I can't, I really do. But I won't fit in a 12, it's nowhere. Although it's quite stretchy, I don't know if that would stretch to a, a size 16. Arms feel really, really nice and silky. This is a really nice shim. I mean, I've got a lot of these tops, organzy kind of see-through, meshy tops. But this feels amazing. And I love the whole shoulder detail i love the high neck now if you to open it and have it opened this is how it look and again i think it's very very nice opened depending on what you're wearing i've got so many tops guys i'd wear anything with this like i said in the video in the review you could wear anything with this this is one of them tops jackets that would go with everything and i mean everything every color Obviously, like the likes of that green top, it wouldn't because it's quite bulky. But anything that's kind of strapless or short sleeved or quite tight fitting, this would look amazing with it. So, yeah, guys, that is my necessary evil. And my last of the buy one, get one free. I do have a few of the necessary evil clothes that I am buying that are not in the sale. And I can't wait to do them. But I ain't going to say anymore. So there you go, guys. Tell me what you think. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.